Welcome to Stories Time with Sonia. So, the story I'm about to tell you is about a woman. Her name, due to the graphics of this story, please listen with cautious. Because it's a true story. The woman's name was Martha Wise. She had killed 21 people. Martha was abused by her husband, who died. He left her with nothing to support they four children. She had a mental disorder, what they call bipolar. She would go to random people's funerals, be yelling in the streets, crying, screaming. Then one day she met this man who she fell in love with, but her family forbid her to see him. Like her mother and her uncle, they didn't want her to be with him. So she poisoned her mother, her uncle, her aunt, her uncle's wife. She killed most of them. Did you hear what I said? She killed most of them. She killed half of her family. Like most of her family she actually killed. Because Martha was really abused by her husband. And she couldn't get help, you know, back in the 19, this was like 1928. There was no help for mental disorders. There was no, you know, help like we have nowadays where you can actually get help. So, and the fact that when her husband died, he left her with nothing. And she met this man that she fell in love with, but because You know how as parents, you kind of know something is wrong with certain children and you just don't want them to make the same mistake or you don't want them to go through the heartache or, you know, I guess in her parents' case, her mother and and her uncle and all of them case, was that they knew, maybe they knew something was mentally off with her, so they didn't really want her to get back in a relationship where she can get hurt or just have a total mental breakdown but Martha didn't see it that way she just seen that they didn't want her to be in love they they didn't want her to be with him they wanted to keep her away from them so she wound up poisoning and killing them so anyway she was charged with first degree murder and the craziest thing that she said that she was more happy in prison to when they released her, she went back the next day. She went, she went back the next day to the prison house because she didn't really know how to survive on the outside. You know, she didn't know how to live in society and a lot of people with mental disorders, it's hard for them to live in society, even though they try, you know, there's just certain things that trigger them, but anyway, going on, she stayed in prison until the day she died, so that was my story time, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Please give it a five-star review on Spotify, Speakers, Anchors, iHeartRadio, Apple, wherever you listen to your podcast at. Please share. Please go to these websites, www.wavilo.com. Use promo code Sonia, www, Instacart, use 156. If you'd like to buy me a coffee, go to buy me a coffee. You can follow. Oh, I also have a website at http slash slash dot dot podcasters dot com wordpress dot com you can follow me at son.ia 9795 instagram sonia santiago facebook sonia santiago twitter sonia santiago pinterest you can leave a comment at sv7667529 at gmail.com you also can comment under here and thank you and much love have a great night